We've just been to the Indian Immigration Office here in Jaigon. Had our passport stamped for another three months in India. So we're now off to... Varanasi! By train. Our first look at the Holy Ganges. We've made it! It's Varanasi! To Varanasi! <laughs> Holiest, the holiest place in India for Hindus. So we got to Varanasi and we're now walking for some lunch because we are starving after our train ride. Set the, set the dogs off. Here we are. On this side of the Ganges, yeah. Yeah. had a looking at sitting on our first gat, gat yeah. uh, steps, and this is my first time here, just taking in the ambiance, what's going on, and uh, just watching a bit of the world go by. I'd say we're chilling out, but we're not. It's too basically melting our way down the steps, <laughs> and the steps are warm under the bomb. <laughs> <They're laughs> I'm in cold water and warm the water. We could do a hot stone bath, but we didn't do time with these things. They're yeah, pretty warm. <laughs> Quite a difference, it's 40 degrees right now. Melting. We're down at the main gat and have just realised that Modi, who is the current Prime Minister and who is, uh, we're in the middle of India's elections, so he has actually come to Varanasi today and is just about to, in the next hour or so, come to this gat. Uh, this is his seat, so he is encouraging people clearly to vote for him. Vote for Modi. And there's a whole pile of boats in the in the middle. Lots of people are in orange. They get into some formation. And then there were sneaky beaky boats around the edges, which we can't see because they're camouflaged. Um, but obviously there's a there's a, bit of, there's a bit of security going on here. And um, we're not going to wait for him to come. Best not to be around these places. It's amazing. There's lots of uh, stuff going on here. And there's a political rally happening down one end and lots of people are coming down there to support that. There's lots of cricket going on, there's lots of people and animals in the water and then the full circle of life there's people down there that are being cremated. 200 people a day get cremated here and each cremation takes about 500 kgs of wood which is a lot, a lot of wood. Life for me took a turn for the worse and I ended up missing our friend from Workway Martha. Check her out and our vids. We're at the evening ceremony on the Gats. It's pretty impressive. It's good. I'm not 100% sure what it's all about. I'm gonna look at it. And it's here. <laughs> We're at the main Gat, Dash Ash which means the place where Brahma sacrificed 10 horses and the ceremony we've just seen is a river ceremony that goes on every single night with all these people and they've had fire and singing and smoke and incense it's been a right sight for the eyes definitely worth coming I'm not sure if it's Chris or the Massa that's being filmed, but there's definitely interest. This place is mad. Where do you see horse-drawn wedding carriages? And then... An electrical fire now in the same street. Nobody's managed to get anything in there. This is Baroness's famous lassie maker. And something tells me they're quite good. No 
note to self, always check that the external mic is turned on. It's one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world and has had people living here since 11 BC. It's actually really known for its ghats. There are 88 ghats, which are the steps down to the river Ganges. And it's a very important place for Hindu spirituality. Hindus believe it's really important at least once in their life to come here and bathe in the Ganges. And more important for their spirit, if they can die here, because then they can get cremated on the edge of the Ganges. We have seen lots of bodies going through the, uh, through the streets. There are about 200 people get cremated here every single day. And each cremation takes about two to three hours. And a body gets cremated within five or six hours of dying. We've seen people brushing their teeth, having a swim, washing their clothes, washing themselves. And then of course, uh, the cremations that happen on the side of the river. There are five types of people who've died who do not get cremated. Pregnant ladies, children under five, people who've had snake bites, people with leprosy, and the sadhus, which is the orange clothed uh, religious people. They get taken out to the centre of the Ganges and weighted down with uh, stones. There's actually a turtle breeding centre near, near Varanasi, uh, and they have been reintroducing flesh-eating turtles to the Ganges. One, because the flesh-eating turtles are, um, have been declining, their numbers have been in decline, and two, it helps clean up the Ganges. The other thing that Varanasi is known for is it's uh, the first place that Buddha ever gave a sermon to his followers after he'd received enlightenment. It feels like somebody has just opened the oven door and you're gonna get that first waft in your face. But it's like that, but constantly. It's boiling. He's hot. 